Hey you guys, welcome back to another Kimball's Corner where today is the rainbow fish from Animal Crossing for today's mermaid. And uh, I think I'm gonna try and draw something out in some pen and ink with the Finishing Line Pens by Jane Davenport. And then since I already had this paint palette out, I'm not sure why, probably because I used it you know, yesterday, uh, cause I'm lazy and I didn't put it away. So, I will use this for today's, it's the rainbow fish. And I was like, this has red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet in it. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna just kind of speed through, sketch some things out. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna pull out the micron pen. And this one's my favorite pen, but I will use that for details later. I'll start with Micron though, and just kind of loosely sketch out what I want to paint and hope it all turns out. You just never really know. Let's get into it. Now that I have a good sketch laid down, I'm gonna come in with the other pen and do some more detailing and uh, make these lines a little thicker, a little more purposeful. I'm gonna switch to a bigger one for these other lines. All right, now I'm gonna let that dry for just a second just to make sure nothing's gonna bleed. I think I might do some incredible inks for the backgrounds. I don't know why I shook those, I just wanted to. Um, I really should have activated my watercolors. And I think I'm gonna do kind of like a rainbowy look on her tail and maybe on her hair, just cause they're both kind of flowing the same direction. Didn't clean my water after yesterday, but we don't care. And since I don't have a purple, I'm just gonna mix one up real quick. All right, I'm gonna give this a quick dry. Actually, let me do the end of the tail first. Ooh, what's that gonna be? Go back into a red.
Oh, it's going to get muddy. A little of that purple. So I'll just mix the blue on the page. All right, gonna give us a quick dry. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with just a second layer, just over this, really quick. I'm gonna dry this up real quick. All right, I'm gonna create a bit of a neutral just to kind of shade the, this thin part of the tail. So I have this, oh, well, you can't see that. So I created a dark purple right here. So I'm gonna add a little yellow since they're complements and I'm hoping it'll make a nice neutral. It's a little on the green side. All right, neutral enough. Like I just didn't want it to pick up the colors. So I'm trying to lay down somewhat quickly. As I go out of the lines, that's all right. I'm gonna do the background dark anyway. Touch more of the neutral. Well, now it's not dark enough. Got some blue. Let's just kind of mix all that together. Add a little water to it. Because I want to add shading to the bottom of this without losing the vibrancy. All right, just a little dark edge down there. Give this a quick dry and then we'll work on her hair. So for her hair, I think I want it to be a little muddy. I don't know, I don't want it to be, I don't know. You know what, we're just gonna lay down some colors and uh, whatever happens, happens. I kinda wanted it muddy and murky, but maybe it'll be pretty and bright. Maybe I'll just do some rainbow stripes. Give that a quick dry so the purple doesn't bleed into the yellow. All right, let's dry it all up. And we're gonna create another, some more of this weird murky, dark, neutrally, purpley, whatever color. I'm gonna turn this just so I can do some hair strands. Can't tell if she's in the shot, but here's hoping. Just to shade it out a little bit. I wonder if I should leave her white. While I'm thinking about that, let's create a brown with some blue, orange, touch of whatever that purpley color was and just kind of color in all this. Nothing too spectacular in the way of shading. Just a little, a little something to happen down in that corner. That white dot's gonna bug me. Fade it out a little bit. 
dry everything. And I think for her skin, I might just do dabs of like pinks and a really pale purple for shading. I should probably clean my palette because it's getting, it's getting a little murky. Just clean out some of these colors. Grab a fresh paper towel and let's do a pale pink. And for a little blush, a little shoulder blush, joint blushies, finger blushies, you know how I like to do. Keeping it very subtle. to create a pale, pale, purpley color, which I kind of already have. I just need to add some water to it. And we'll use this for shading. Quite subtle. Let's see if I can do some more detailing. I'm gonna dry it real quick and do some details. <laughs> All right, let's add a little color to those lips. Alrighty, her eyes, hmm, let's do orange eyes. All right, oh, I forgot that little thing. Let's bring in a little yellow and a touch of orange and a splurge of red. All right, let's give her a thorough drawing. I think I'm done with the watercolors. I'm just gonna do some incredible inks in the background. And Rocky has graced us with his presence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just wanted to say that I think these all look amazing and I'm very proud of you. Oh, I didn't pay him to say that. But you kind of did. Get back to work. You paid me in kisses. Oh my God. All right. Uh, so now we're going to lay down uh, the incredible inks. I'm gonna turn this just so it's easier for me. Let's see, we can push those rocks out. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna lay down some water first. Good thing the water doesn't look as filthy as it does in the jar. Although, I mean, it's gonna be murky. I think I'll do purpley blues at the bottom. I did like a, a reddish, maybe I'll do a more purpley blue. A cooler purple, if you will. Add some of this down here. And a touch of the hydrangea. Let's just work with what we got and see what happens. Hopefully I don't spill a whole jar of this stuff. I've seen it happen. Well, I kind of obliterated that purple. Turning it upside down. Just getting my brush wet. Gonna bring this color in. I'll bring it up. All right, bring in some fresh air. Nothing like a breath of fresh air underwater. I'm gonna 
kind of add in just a little bit of this darker blue. Just because it kind of looks like it cuts off where her body is, because that's kind of what happened. This looks just too clump of brown down here. So I'm gonna use watercolor. I'm gonna mix the blue sky color, maybe a blue, murky bluish color, just to kind of push this back. It's just a little too vibrant brown for me. There we go, just, just toning it down. And I need to add some more. I'm gonna dry it so I can add a little more detail. All right, let's just grab a little bit of a orangey, reddish, brownish, something-ish color. Just add a little shading back down in here. All right, I need to do one tiny dab in her eyes just to make sure they're not so white. And you guys, I think we're gonna call it good. Check her out. I didn't even use the white paint pen. You proud of me? Or do you think I should use it? I don't know. No, I'm not gonna use it this time around. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time. We've got the beautiful rainbow fish inspired by the rainbow fish from Animal Crossing. I think she's pretty. Take care, you guys. I hope you had a good time and uh, I'll see you tomorrow with yet another mermaid. Take care. Bye-bye.